Let's go, Ed Orgeron's the most powerful coach in college football. Not Nick Saban, not Gus Malzahn, not Dabo, not Gene Chizik, and... Did I really just say Gene Chizik? How many coaches in the middle of a pandemic is addressing the entire state that he coaches in? That's because Ed Orgeron has that power. He's us, he's Louisiana, and it's a beautiful thing to see. Let's be honest, Louisiana started to pay attention during that PSA, and who knows how many lives that could have potentially saved. When Ed Orgeron talks, people Listen, and let's not forget how Ed Orgeron is revolutionizing coaching. Coaches are pulled in so many different directions. You got to recruit. You got to fundraise. You got to hang out with boosters. You got to schmooze. And no one does that better than O. And what I see in college programs, let's take Arkansas, for instance. A guy like the coach from last year, uh, the worst coach ever in the history of SEC football. Oh, uh, Chad Morris. He was pulled in so many different directions, and then he actually had the game plan, and he actually had to call plays, and he actually had to implement his new offensive scheme. It's a lot. I struggle to believe Ole Miss and Mississippi State will be successful because the same thing is true with Lane Kiffin. The same thing is true with Mike Leach. It's difficult to do all those things. But Ed Orgeron doesn't really have to do much scheming. He has coaches that actually do the X's and O's, which is extremely difficult to do. Now, I had some good fortune to look at a real Division I college playbook, and these things are really complex, and the game planning that goes into it is very difficult. And it's hard to do that as a head coach while also doing all the different things you have to do. Press conferences, media appearances, the list goes on and on. That's why Ed Orgeron as the figurehead is the right choice for LSU, even back when we were all skeptical of it. And that's what makes Ed Orgeron even more powerful, is that he had real haters. You would hear it all the time in rap songs and music and just pop culture. I got haters. I got haters. You don't really have real haters. Ed Orgeron had real haters. No one in the national media thought that this guy would ever come close to a national championship. A lot of people in the local media, including myself, didn't think that either. So many people remembered the 3-25 and Ed Orgeron. But he revolutionized himself. He's even changed as a head coach of LSU, taking attention away from himself and making it about the team and also allowing different coaches to do what they do best. By doing less, Ed Orgeron did more. And that's why he's the most powerful coach in all of college football. Dabo Sweeney was kind of the same way, and now we're going to see more programs do that. Think about any business you think of. There's so many different people that do so many different things in really successful, big, multi-million dollar businesses. Why should football be any different? LSU football is the entire state of Louisiana. It's the only Power 5 program that we have. Saban, well... There's also Auburn and Gus Malzahn and the success that they've had. Think of any major program that's out there, and they're rarely the only show in town. Ed Orgeron is Louisiana football, and he's the future of Louisiana football, and the success of LSU is not changing anytime soon because this guy has his head on the swivel. Recruiting is great. Resources are great. The coaches are still great. Ed Orgeron's already stamped himself down in history. He coached the greatest football team ever at the collegiate level. And that's because he has a system. That's because he's changed. That's because he's Louisiana through and through. Ed Orgeron, the most powerful coach in college football. And I know you guys probably agree with me. But if you do disagree with me, let me know in the comments. It's Power Hour LSU. How about the style, baby? Look at that. 1980s jacket. Woo! And no shirt underneath. Remember the 80s when you could go bare chest? And I miss those days. Well, I was only alive for one year in the 80s. But all it needs is the Deion Sanders gold chain, baby. Woo! So fresh.